we're basically translating light that we can't see into light that we can see by applying uh, color like red, green, and blue to the different filters that we have from web. And the reason we want to color the images is because there's actually more that you can get, more information that you can get from the image if you see it in color. So it's a matter of picking and choosing filters and colors that enhance the details and the structure in the image itself. The shortest wavelengths of infrared light and assign those blue colors and then move our way down to green and red as we go to longer and longer wavelengths. And then we additively combine those together to get our full color image. But there is a lot of aesthetics that are involved in this. And painstakingly going through and cleaning these images up uh, with a, an attention to detail, a level of detail like at the pixel level in every image. So when I'm working on the astronomical data, it is this sort of marriage between art and science. When you're choosing colors for the filters, you really are trying to show the different details and the processes that are happening in the astronomical images. But at the end of the day, you want it to be very compelling. You want it to be very beautiful because space is beautiful. And after those images were processed, there was a select few of us, very lucky few of us, who got to see the first images.